Hi, we're here with Babak Bahari. He's a PhD candidate from the EC department and he's the recipient of this month Jacob's Crestrian Council Award. He works in the field of top, uh, topological uh, photonics, light sources, but uh, can you explain us a little bit what your field or what your work consists on? Hello, uh, thank you for introducing me and also thank you for choosing me for this nice award. My name is Bobak Bari, I'm a fifth year PhD student at UCSD and I work with Professor Luca Kante in Photomix Metamaterials Lab. Uh, well, during my PhD studies, I work on uh, different research topics, but mainly I focus on topological photonic light sources. Uh, what is this? Basically, this title has two different parts. The first part Topological photonics uh, is more pure science, pure physics and mathematics part and the second part, uh, light sources or lasers, is more engineering side. So what we do as an engineer, we go and study different uh, scientific concepts in physics and mathematics and try to explore and study it deeply, understand it and then take those concepts and bring it to the engineering and make a device. What, what kind of applications can you use with these topo, uh, topological light sources? Uh, well, uh, let me first I talk a little bit about topological uh, photonics. Uh, I work on two different uh, topological concepts. Although I say two different, but uh, at the very end the roots are the same. But it is split to two different branches. The first one is called uh, boundaries in the continuum or BIC. BIC. Uh, what is that? Uh, imagine we have a photon crystal structure and uh, when we study this photon crystal, we observe there are some uh, topological similarities in the system, this periodic system. Uh, and when we extract the mode of this uh, photon crystal, it locks to a specific momentum and ultimately it uh, emits light uh, outside the given angle in a specific direction. Uh, even more interesting about this uh, photon crystal structures, uh, we can design it based on uh, crystal symmetry of the crystal to generate uh, multiple beams, one beam, two beams, or four beams. Especially in my design, I, the photon crystal genera generates four beams at the same time. And uh, the angle of these beams also can be tuned. So, uh, when we make this photon crystal from game material and we turn on the laser, we make a laser and when we turn on the laser, it generates, for example, four beams at the same time and the angle of these four beams are two. So it sweeps the space like my fingers. Uh, the application, what's the application of this? It has many applications in LiDAR technology, in uh, robotics, autonomous vehicle, and many other areas. The second one, uh, which is called a topological insulator, uh, is a little different from the first one. So, what is topological insulator? It refers to materials or structures that electron or photon only propagate at the boundary of these materials, regardless of the shape of the boundary of these structures. These electrons and photons, uh, in general, they cannot penetrate inside the bulk of this material, it's like an isolator. But at the boundary, there is a state that, can, that they can propagate and turn around all the formation of the surface without any backscatter. So, what we did, we basically took this uh, physical concept, brought it into the engineering, and made the first topological laser in the world. So, how we did that? We designed topological cavities using two different photon crystals. The photon crystals are designed to be non topologically non trivial and form a cavity resonator at the interface of these two photon crystals. So, we have a close contour uh, using these two photon crystals, and uh, the material of this uh, uh, structure is a game material. So, we use game material to make a laser. And when we turn on the laser, the mode at the interface is excited, which we call it edge mode. The edge mode is excited and uh, confined and propagate, amplified and lasers in one direction. So we have some uh, benefits for these topological cavities. The first one is this, uh, sh the shape of this uh, cavity is arbitrary because the edge mode is robust and directional. So we can deform the shape of this cavity and make geometry independent cavities. Uh, which has many applications, uh, especially for the integrated lasers that um, we know. For lasers, one of the fundamental building blocks is uh, cavity resonators or ring resonators. And normally these ring resonators are circular or elliptical with, uh, with a large dimension of the range of few hundreds of 
few hundreds of one. Uh, but in these topological cavities, we can deform and shrink the size of those big rings and put it in a very compact area. Basically, those circular rings can be like a zigzag and shrink into a smaller area and leave many space, free space on the chip for another component. So we make more compact devices. Now, what would you think is the best way to apply this later? Like, um, any specific application you think will be will have a great advantage? Yeah, for both of these topological uh, lasers, uh, we have uh, many applications. The first one, bouncing quantum laser, as I mentioned, it has application in lidar technology. Uh, just uh, let's compare with the commercially available lidar system. Commercially available lidar systems. Uh, use electrical, optical, and mechanical components, so it's a to me to mechanical system. But all lighters use electrical and optical components, so it's a to me And the uh, speed is much more fast. It's in the range of nanosecond, but the other one in the market is in the range of millisecond. And also, we use a CMOS technology, it's much more cheaper than the other one, and the size is very small compared to the other one, which is in the range of few inches or even bigger. So just think about that, um, our final product is a, uh, we call it a wider tag, a tag that this laser is uh, installed on it and it has uh, transmitters, everything on it. You prefer to have this wider tag in front and back of your car instead of using these bulky LiDAR systems uh, on top of your car. So it's, uh, we do believe that this is a major step forward in wider technology because we are introducing a fully functional and efficient uh, semiconductor based wider systems. This, like I mentioned, it looks like a great breakthrough for all these even self driving cars, all the new technologies. But how long do you think it will be before it gets to the market? How, what's the next step needed to get this to the people? Yeah. Uh, well, we started uh, working on this project since almost three years ago. And we demonstrated uh, uh, these um, lasers the, because the wider has different parts. The important part is lasers and steering these uh, laser beams. We demonstrated that uh, here at UCSD, in the criminal of UCSD. So uh, it's in the academic level. In order to go to the market level, we need to show the first uh, functional prototype of these lidars. And we are currently working on it, and maybe in the next one or two years, we have our first product that can go into the market. Well, this, your research looks amazing. Again, congratulations on the work, and we hope you the best for your future endeavors. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.